phrase that keeps popping up this week is get your house in order. You know, this is a phrase that, that the Lord said to Hezekiah in Isaiah 38. Get your house in order. There's so many ways that we can interpret that command from the Lord through his word. Our house might be our, our body, which is the temple of Christ. It might be our finances. It could be our family. It could be our actual house at home. It could be our workplace. But get your house in order. Today I want to talk about friendships. God calls us to keep godliness in our relationships. He instructs us how to do this and how we can keep godly relationships and keep our house in order. In Romans 12, all I'm going to do is read Romans 12 from verse 10 today and then we're going to pray. So Romans 12 verse 10, be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervour serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need and practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is, impos if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Lord, I thank you for today. Lord, I thank you for our friendships in our life and I thank you for the people who are in our circle of friends and our family, people who you've entrusted us with, Lord God. Help us to be good stewards of those relationships and friendships, Father God. Help us to keep our house in order there, Father God. If we're not walking rightly or in step with you in any way, Lord God, give us the boldness and the humility to go to whoever we need to go to today, Lord God, and make amends. I ask you to bless all our friendships and all our relationships today, Father God, and Give us peace and understanding in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you bless our Sunday and I declare today it will be awesome. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Guys, you have a great Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.